Boop, boop. Hi everybody, this is John over at Cigar Advisor and Famous Smoke Shop, and I'm here once again answering your fan mail. Now I got a Facebook message from this guy Tino in New York, and he asked a very common question. How do you sharpen your cigar cutter? Now it could be a little, uh, it could be a little difficult if you have like a cheapo plastic cutter, or if you have a double blade cutter like I do. Sometimes it's hard to actually sharpen the blade, but I'm gonna go into a few ways that's actually pretty easy to sharpen your cutter, and we're gonna go over a theory as well. So we're gonna be doing this together because I've actually never done this before. So really, the theory is you take tin foil on your dull cutter and you snip through. And as you snip through the tin foil, it's not supposed to really sharpen your cutter, but it's supposed to deburr your cutter. And what deburring is, is it simply means all the imperfections on the edge of the blade are supposed to be smoothed out or reduced because of the tin foil every time you snip. So, like I said, we're gonna go through this together. I'm gonna show you how uh, you're supposed to do it. And remember, no good cigars were harmed in the making of this video. So let's try it out. Now I'm going to try cutting it with my dull cutter that I didn't sharpen yet. Now as you can see, you can see this like perforated line or how it didn't cut properly. So that means the, dull, the cutter is completely dull and it's not going to give you a good burn. It can give you some draw issues. It can really just mess up your entire cigar experience. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to deburr my blade using tin foil. Let's see if it works. Now, as you can see, the tin foil should go on every part of the blade. So you have to do this multiple times and try to get all over the blade if you can. It may not cut all the way through the aluminum foil, but every time you snip, it should deburr more and more and more as you go down the line. So I'm gonna to try to jam it into this part of the blade, and then I'm gonna to go to the other side, and I'm just gonna go all the way down the, oh wow, that side is messed up. So I'm gonna go all the way down the, uh, the cigar cutter and hopefully this deburrs my blade and sharpens it a little bit. Alright, so there we go. I deburred the entire thing using aluminum foil. Now let's see if this blade is better. Alright, now that I did the tin foil and should have deburred the cutter, I'm going to try it on this cigar, which is uncut. So let's see if it actually works. Okay. As you can see, it snipped through a little bit easier than last time. So look at the actual difference between the cigars. This is the first cigar that I cut, and you can see that there's jagged edges right on the top of that cap. Once again, this can create a lot of uh, draw problems for you, so this is no good. This on the other hand has zero jagged edges, straight all the way through, so deburring did actually help the cigar. It helped cut the cigar really smooth, really clean, and you should have no draw problems. Okay, so what have we learned? Deburring is a temporary solution to a permanent problem. Every time you cut through a cigar, it's going to, it's gonna fray. It's, you're gonna have some damage on your blades. So even though the tin foil worked this time, the next time I use this cutter, it's probably not gonna work as well as it just did after I deburred it with tin foil. So what does this mean? It means don't use tin foil as a, as a permanent solution. What you need to do is you need to sharpen your cutter and you need to clean your cutter. By cleaning your cutter, you're getting rid of the gunk from the oils, and if you lick the cap of your cigar, all that gunk and that saliva builds up on your blades and can make it duller, and it can wear down your blade a lot faster. So don't lick the cap of your cigars before you cut it, and wash your cutter so you can get rid of all that gunk. The other thing you want to do is actually just sharpen it with a, a round wet stone. So you have all these screws around cutters, around your cutter. So most cutters have these screws where you can just disassemble it really quick and you can just get a round wet stone and go with the blade of the cutter and sharpen it up really quick. And that's quick, that's easy, it's efficient, and it's gonna keep your, your cutter going for a long time. If you have a plastic cutter, like a cheapo plastic cutter, like a $1 cutter that you get from a retailer or cigar store for free or for a buck, just throw it out. It's, it's, not, worth, it's not worth sharpening because it's harder to do and you can't disassemble them. Um, if you have a punch cutter, unfortunately I don't have one with me right now, but if you have a punch cutter, a good tool to use is actually a shell casing deburrer. That actually works. It's meant to deburr the shell casings from a firearm. So what you do is you take the punch cutter, get the deburring tool, and just run all the way around that ring and it will sharpen it up nice and new. 
that's actually a really good technique. So at the end of the day, the tinfoil technique, although it works every once in a while, or it works when you when you first deburr your cutter using tinfoil, it's not a t it's not a permanent solution. You need to actually sharpen your cutter. So get yourself around whetstone. Make sure you know how to disassemble the cutter that you're buying or that you already have. If you have a cheapo cutter, just throw it away because it's not really worth it. And make sure you sharpen your blades and keep your blades clean. And that is how you keep your blades sharp.